Isolated and working from home. Sitting here remotely, the morning sun upon my face, I open up my laptop in a brand new office space. At 9am I join the team, virtual bosses in my room. Screens the window to their souls by Skype or Teams or Zoom. Meetings planned in conference rooms and now broadcast live online. Our home lives in the background. Photos, books and fine red wine. Working in their hoodies, children playing while they talk. At 10.30 we coffee break, have our virtual morning walk. We share our lives outside of work, with our home lives all around. Hearing children go berserk. It's not an average office sound. The sound of cars drowned out by birds, the quiet streets and avenues, silenced by a lockdown, announced on headline news. My window is a lifeline, a rich source of vitamin D. I've started spotting different things that I wouldn't normally see. The boy who likes to ride his bike, the girl who likes to run, the father with his pushchair, and the mother with her son. The elderly with their shopping bags, something a volunteer could do. The dog walkers going out more than once. That's right, I've spotted you. The couriers and postmen with many home deliveries. The golden orb, my timepiece, as it ticks by in degrees. Sunlight washes over me from the east and then west behind. The working day is different, whilst I'm sat indoors confined. The grass laps up the springtime sun, the blossom on the trees, all these things that carry on whilst we fight this new disease. When things go back to normal, will the work we knew remain? Is working in the new working out, will it ever be the same?